Hi, Pat Miller. So today, the governor passed RIFRA, um, the Rights of Religious Freedom Act, and that's been signed into law. Probably nothing that this governor or the last five or six governors have done has been more confusing than this bill. Let's look at what it is. This is a bill that limits what government can do to an individual. This is not a bill that opens it up so that I can come against you or my group against your group or we could come with some frivolous lawsuits. This is strictly to keep the government from forcing individuals, either in their own lives or in their personal business, from doing things that go against their personal beliefs. So why do we need this bill? The main reason is this, uh, before 1990, the freedom, the practice of religion in this country was something that we did. There was a Supreme Court ruling that happened in 1990 that reduced that and said it boiled down to what you believed. So it didn't protect any of your actions, it just protected what went on up here. Well, in 1993, the federal government said, okay, this isn't right, we've got to return this to where the founders had it, and they did. You had a very large bipartisan, in fact, it was a vote of 97 to three in the Senate, where they restored the original founders' argument about what this law was. By this vote of 97 to three, what they said was, what the founders intended is where we need to be, so they put it back in place, very bipartisan, and in fact, it was President Bill Clinton that signed it into law. But later, the Supreme Court said the law is good, it just doesn't apply to the states. Which is why now states must implement their own law if it's also to apply to them. Again, not creating anything that wasn't there, just saying the way things were before 1990, that really is the way that it should be. It's going back to the original constitutional idea of the protection of the free exercise of religion. That's what the governor signed today, and that's what's happening. Nobody's coming after anybody. Nobody can use this law to go after anybody. In fact, you'll not find anywhere in any of the over 20 states that have passed this law where people have been able to use this law against each other. Look, I think it's important that we know this, this law and every other law. I think it's really important, and one of the reasons you're seeing this on this website is because you care about what's happening in our community, in our government, in our state, in our country. And so it's important that we know what laws really mean and that we share it with other people. Um, we don't want to become a country where we suffer because of ignorance. Let's find out what the law says, what it really means, and then let's learn to live within the law. So boost this, share this with your friends, add this to your Facebook page. Let's get the word out there.